So hi everybody, I thought today that I would share some of my paintings that I have in um, still available. So here I have these two pieces and these are all um, A2 size and are originals um, acrylics and they're very very textured pieces and I've got them in this cellophane um, to protect them um, in the studio. But taking them off actually, you just need to have um, a little bit of a warm hair dryer because sometimes they tend to try and hold on to the um, cellophane. And they're very textured and have a lot of details on them. And they're really, really fun. I've not looked at these for a while, so I thought I'd bring them out and have a private exhibition for myself. Um, so I really love color. You can see how colorful these are. And I love that whole aspect of organisms and micro worlds and um, using a lot of texture and scraping with my tools. And if you see these close up, they're like really amazing because they have, um, well, this is one I had for myself here at home, um, black and white one. So I really like the designs on this and the dripping. So yeah, I have quite a few, this is more a sketchy one. So there's like a lot of like my pencils um, that I've used on this and a lot of detailing with drawing in it and then kind of marking like here a scraping back into the paint as well. Then I've got this one here. I've got chair in the way here. So that's why I'm a bit, let's see, awkward in this angle for myself. But I really love the drips which I used um, inks and what else did I use with this again? Inks and um, acrylic and then use different tools to kind of scrape into these areas here and layering and scraping back. And a lot of them have um, some kind of a gold or metallic paint as well. So they're really amazing um, and fun to have done. And I've not looked at these for a while. We've moved house recently and they've been packed away for a while. And um, they're really exciting. Um, I'm thinking about what must have been going on when I did these. And I'd really like to get back to that space of creating more abstracts. Um, so each of them have different names. Like this one here, I've called Speaker of Three. And that was just kind of inspired by the kind of triangle of the tr three here. I mean, there are a lot of circles and spheres in this, but I try to kind of focus on these three here in this piece. So it's a lot of like putting down layers and then pulling it back. Um, and then I've got other ones where I tried to restrain myself. So like a lighter layer over that black um, collage and then scraping into it. And oh my goodness, I, just looking at them, I was having way too much fun. So I'd like to get back to that again. But I have these here and they are um, ready for adoption. So, if you're looking to kind of brighten your wall or even as a gift. I mean, these are really nice um, pieces, I feel, and they were fun to make with a lot of enjoyment. And um, they are done with love, let's just put it that way. So I've got some more here that I'm gonna share on this table. So look at this piece here and the dripping and then scraping into it. I'm just thinking, it's like, what was I doing? I was going wild on these. Um, very psychedelic coloring, but um, the textures as well, when you feel what it's like, it's really, oh my goodness. And then there's reflections of like metallic, um, metallic gold colors as well in this corner here like that. And you can feel the bumps on these. Ones. I'm having a field day, let's put it that way. This pieces are more recent ones that I did. And um, these are of my stag series. Um, so colorful again, with kind of metallic embellishment on them. And then it was kind of looking at that. I love nature so much. So in different ways I represent that. This was like the layering, scraping into it and then putting layers of black over that. It's like looking back, I'm trying to think how I even did it. And so I really want to get back into that again. And just close up, they're like ridges and bumps in areas. And you can see that there were layers underneath that have been scraped. 
um, and are trying to show to you. So that's that one. Got another one here. It's a, a different green, but I've kind of trying to put foliage in the background. And this is another metallic color, which is like um, a metal, um, a copper metal embellishment and on the face as well. And then peeking through in the background there. So this one, there's another one that's a lot of fun as well. So this is back to the original like um, abstract pieces that I did. And just looking at so much little details and scraping in into this piece here. So scraping away the orange and you can feel the actual scrapes in this and uh, layering the kind of um, printing tools. I think this was like a polystyrene tube of some sort from some kind of packaging. And this one, I love this. I don't know what it is, but Brazil jumps into my head when I look at this piece. And then also like the Incas. So I don't know what's going on here, but I love this. So this wasn't any like major spheres in this one. I think this was slightly after I'd done a lot of spheres. Um, like in all these ones you can see, yeah, there's a lot of circles in them. But when I started coming to these ones, I wanted to come away from adding so many circles and exploring other kind of details and shapes and marks that I could make. But the textures, my goodness, like here, the layering, there's like greens and yellows and then this kind of creamy white and then kind of using my pencils to scrape into this as well. So yeah, and then using, I just love color. So playing with color, trying to see how to introduce it, you know, to carry the color across um, and to try and tie the whole thing in. So this is another piece that's available. So um, I've made these all kind of like pricing wise, trying to make it affordable for people. So these are original acrylics and mixed media on paper, A2 size, and just basically link to my website and find out how much they are. So um, they are a lot of fun. Layers, I mean, here I think I've painted over this so you can see the brighter color here. And this is the one that's been kind of painted over slightly. So still trying to try something else with these pieces, still kind of cellular organic. Um, this is a lot calmer than this other brighter yellow one. Here, then I've done, I mean, I'm trying to think of the order I did these. Obviously the, the similar ones were at the same time because I must have had the same thing going on. But look at these scratches and the bumps in this. Um, and there's, there's like a lot of texture and you can feel the texture and you can feel like almost there was a festival going on or a celebration and I'm very um, in awe of what was going on with that. I think I was really enjoying myself creating these pieces and the colors that's in them. Here are more textures scraping into the dark blue and um, I can feel them and all the kind of pulling with um, different tools to smooth these down and then having the inks drip, basically adding wet on wet to build this layer. So this is, I love this. This is one of my favorite ones as well, just for the patterns and textures and then the drips and then the smoother areas. It's just, it's a lot of fun. So yeah, it's just to reference. If you see anything you like, you just reference what you, where you say it was, maybe even the time of where it was in the video. Um, that I'm posting and let me know. So I think I've got for some of these, um, okay, I've not got the name on this back of this one yet. But this one, there was a lady who spoke to me about this one and said, um, I think she was pregnant at the time, but I think she's been having different um, situations with pregnancy. And so this has kind of spoken to her a little bit. So that would be really nice to get some kind of a link that way in conversation from creating these um, abstract spaces and landscapes that um, can uh, kind of interact with people's thoughts and things. This, I tried to kind of give myself breathing space. So at every point I'm trying to think how to play 
and how to interact. So I wanted to give myself some breathing space. So here are those colors that are similar blended in together. So trying to use the warm colors. Coming in, I'm trying to introduce again the um, different shapes and some circles are still trying to interact with the scene. Uh, and it's interesting because I think if I if I actually follow the trail of thought, I can see this as a midway before between my spheres and um, the really really wild ones. I just find them like between the spheres and these ones. So I think this was like a midway where I was trying to break from the spheres but I was still trying to also add in new dimensions, which is where you can see this, like the square. So I think I can see the transition in creating these spheres to, yeah, these spheres to the point where I got to. So yeah, a lot of fun. This one, this interlinking way that they're, they're interacting with each other. I love this as well. So obviously it was to draw something one end, let it drip. And I think I was doing this at the same time. So I'm even confused how I got the drip to do what they're doing. Basically to be able to interlink without causing some sort of a strange mess. But once you're in the, in the zone, as they'll say, I don't know what happened, but I really love the little details, the grays and scraping in and some paint of yellow. It's like there's life in it, even though it seems quite a dark piece. It's like there's some sunlight peeking through some areas as well. So this one's like the last one I've got here and it's really bright. There's like the gold kind of reflection on this. I used a bit more metallic on this one, but I just love some of the areas that just look like they burn. So I love it and I thought I would share this with you and um so let me know what you think and um if this was fun to do and i will see you in the next art session here on my channel in uh beatrice ajay's studio see you soon